Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video I got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates for you, and we are starting with a 2024 physique update of Brian Jones, this guy right here. Now, in case you guys forgot who Brian Jones is, he placed 5th at the 2020 Mr. Olympia Classic Physique. He had an awesome structure for classic physique, he did look very aesthetic, very classic, super tiny small waist and you know very good symmetry and stuff like that, but you know he had some crazy proportions that kind of looked more like open bodybuilding, for example his legs were really massive, but even more so his shoulders were like super wide and super round, like really big, really really round, also arms were really good, so he looked like he could do well in the open division, at some point he decided to stop competing in classic and focus on growing more muscle, so he can switch to the open, so last year, in 2022, in the off season, this is what he looked like, he was 245 pounds right here, which is not really that heavy for an open bodybuilder at that height, right? He's basically the same height as Chris Bumstead, as myself as well, 6 foot 1, 6 foot 2, so in order for this guy to actually be competitive in the open class, he needs to be at least 300 pounds, probably over, probably more than 300 pounds, maybe with his shape he can get away with a little bit less, but I don't know, to be like a top open guy, he needs a lot more tissue than this, and this was back in 2022, and now two years later we got a new physique update, so let's take a look at how much progress he actually made in the past two years, and I gotta say, I'm disappointed, I don't think he made any progress, uh, on the contrary, I think he actually regressed, I think his legs are looking smaller than before, I'm sure his arms and shoulders are really dominant, and that was always the case, but I don't think he looks much bigger, from behind, I mean, the axe frame is there, the waist is small, the shoulders are wide, the arms are big, but, you know, for the open, he definitely needs to add more muscle to the back, to the hamstrings, to the glutes, so, I mean, this is definitely not the progress that I expected in, in two years, right? So I thought he was going to make more progress and actually get bigger, but it is what it is. Maybe, maybe he's actually going to prep for classic again. Maybe he decided to, to quit that open idea because the progress is obviously very slow. He obviously plateaued. Maybe there is an issue that is preventing him from getting bigger than this. And there is a criticism that he received from so many people. It was about his calves. As you can see, his calves are really freaking tiny, almost non-existent for a guy this big. This is just silly, but it's just one of those body parts that can be very stubborn genetically. So maybe he's working on them and they're not <laughs> growing, but you know, I, this just looks funny. I'm sorry, but I don't know. Maybe he doesn't even train them very hard. I mean, they definitely are inserted very high. But I mean, look at Andrew Jack, his calves are the same genetically, they're also very very high inserted, as high as they can be, I don't think they can be any higher than this, but he trained them like a maniac, and they got bigger, and I think Brian Jones could probably do the same, but he probably just quit on his calves, and it's definitely ruining his aesthetics, See, if you pay attention to it, it's just looking silly. But yeah, as far as Brian Jones, you know, switching to the open division, honestly, it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. I mean, it looks like it could happen, it looks like he has the structure for it, but he decided to switch to the open four years ago and nothing changed. He still has the same physique he had four years ago as far as size. So yeah, I think he's gonna come back to classic physique. But I don't know, we don't have any updates as far as his future plans, but I don't think it's gonna be the open. Next, we got an Arnold Classic participant who is going to be competing in six weeks from now. It's Justin Rodriguez. And here in this photo and basically all of his other videos and photos, he looks freaking massive. Like, he looks really, really big. And he's coached by none other but uh, Abdullah, uh, Brandon Curry's coach. So we can be pretty sure that Justin is going to be huge, Eddie Arnold. But as far as conditioning, I'm not so sure about that. And Justin, he has that kind of a physique that looks really good when he's peeled. But he needs to be super, super peeled. He can't be off, not even a little bit. And Abdullah, you guys probably noticed with Brandon Curry, he's always pushing for mass. He's always pushing for maximum fullness. He's not exactly the conditioning guy. And I think Justin did the best when he was working with the Cement Factory, AJ Sims. And when these guys parted ways... 
Justin was just never the same. And now with Abdullah, I don't know what to expect. I mean, I can definitely see that Justin looks really big, really massive right now. But as far as conditioning, I don't know. Justin worked with so many coaches at this point, and it really seems like it's tricky to get this guy in shape. Is Abdullah going to be able to do this? I, I am not very hopeful, honestly. But I do think I need to remind you guys not to sign off Justin Rodriguez because he can actually be really good. At the 2022 Arnold Classic, he, I wouldn't say almost won, but in the pre-judging, he actually looked really good. Like, he actually messed it up completely later. He came in completely bloated, like watery as hell at the finals. But here at the pre-judging, he looked really good. And at that show, uh, Brandon Curry won, Bonek was second, and somehow Justin uh, slid down to fifth place behind Steve Kuklo and Samson Dauda. But he was really spot on at the pre-judging, like he was sharp and he was massive. And one week later, he tightened up his conditioning and he almost won against all the same people from the Arnold Classic aside from Brandon Curry. He didn't manage to beat William Bonek, but it was really close. When I was watching this show, I wasn't sure who was gonna win it, he actually did beat Samson Dauda and Steve Kuklo, so this guy is actually a really heavy hitter, if he brings good conditioning, with this mass that he actually has right now, and you guys probably remember that he competed way too many times, for a couple of years, he basically didn't skip any shows, any competitive seasons, and now he is back, he actually took some time off and he is back, and he looks freshened up, he actually looks freshened up, he looks really big, really full, really round, look at him, and if he brings good conditioning, he can definitely surprise. Now, I'm not a fan of Justin's physique. I don't like the structure, the shape. He doesn't have really good aesthetics. I think we can all agree with that. And his physique looks like he put a lot of Sintel or some kind of oil pretty much everywhere. You know, arms, shoulders, even quads, even calves. You know, everything seems a little bit strange. But you cannot deny his muscle and his conditioning when he brings it. So if he does that, you know, the judging criteria is such that he can actually be one of the one of the top guys. Oh, and yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with his Tiba Rose form. He actually uses smaller plates, so he can do more a range of motion. He bends down like a lot. And this is not exactly super heavy, but actually the form of execution here is very good. Probably the best from all the guys that I made videos about recently. Anyways, down below in the comment section, you guys can tell me what do you think, can Justin actually do some damage and how play how high can he actually place? Do you think he can be third behind Hardy and Samson? Is that a possibility? Can he beat, you know, the likes of Rafael Brandau or Horse MD or James Hollingshead? Well, we got a physique update of James as well. And this is him right now at his lowest weight, this prep, which equals food, as he says in the caption here, that's his approach, he diets down and once he hits his new lowest weight, he has some junk food, and it's always five guys, as he says, I believe, so this is his physique update right now, it's six weeks out of the Iron Classic, and uh, he is getting harder, for sure, but he was already really conditioned, basically, at the start of this prep, so he's not really changing that rapidly, because he doesn't need to, He's already, like, ahead, if you ask me, he's rushing things a little bit, but maybe that's a good thing for his physique, he knows what he's doing, he, he, he's learning about his body, you know, he's prepping basically kind of by himself, I mean, he has Milo Sharchev in his corner, from what he explains, you know, he actually, you know, consults with Milo Sharchev, he basically makes his own decisions, but Milos is there, you know, to, to track his progress, to maybe advise some things, and he's gonna be there to pick him for the show, which is, I believe, the most important thing for James. If he can pick right and, you know, he can get conditioned, which I'm sure he will, with his size and with his shape and everything, you know, he's definitely one of those top guys who can be top three. But I was looking at this photo that he posted from his previous prep where he looked massive. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, is he gonna be this big this year? Because I don't know if it looks like that. I mean, here, Gaino is a little bit visible. I don't think it was an issue before on stage. Uh, nobody noticed, really, until he did a Gaino surgery. Now that's fixed. But I'm looking at this photo and I'm thinking how big he actually was here. However, recently, he's posting all of his photos, like, in the morning, fasted, under some boring lighting, like daylighting. 
no photos are looking like this and this photo is under some really cool gym lighting and that's probably why he looks so massive right here i mean here he looks super big super massive and in his current physique updates he looks much smaller than here but i'm guessing it's because of the lighting and because here he is not in as good of a shape as he is right now and there is six more weeks to go so i'm hoping at the end the final package is gonna be better he's gonna be shredded like more shredded than ever before and if everything goes well goes smoothly he's gonna be you know as big as he usually is i don't think he can really miss the mark that much with with like the size I don't think he can lose that much size, but honestly, in these photos, he looks kind of underwhelming to me. I think he was just freakier before. Maybe it's the stress from opening up the new gym, or maybe he's making all wrong decisions, or maybe like his GH is fake or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe it could be just the lighting and that's it. I hope it's just that. But yeah, again, I, I don't really see any photos of James that make me go, wow how big he is how impressive he is and i used to i used to feel like that before like in his previous preps we'll see i hope it's just a part of the process and in the end he's gonna actually look really massive uh, the photos again don't look that impressive but maybe the final package if milos helps him peak properly at the end maybe this is gonna turn out and be his absolute best package ever what do you guys think are you seeing the same thing do you agree with me or not i mean whatever is the case tell me down below now we also got a physique update, a little physique update of Harit Chopin, it's not really showing much, but you can see the conditioning, you can see the graininess, you can see the hardness, and this guy has it, I mean, the lighting here is phenomenal, and he has a filter on as well, and this is after training, so he's pumped, so it's a completely different style of a photo than uh, those photos that James is taking, but like you cannot deny the fullness the hardness the detail the, the conditioning it really seems like this guy is ready for war like he is really driven it seems like he's gonna bring it like never before it's probably gonna be the best version of Hari so far and yeah it's gonna be hard for anybody to beat this guy or to even look good next to him and that's all I'm gonna say for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this about bodybuilding, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.